What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So let's take some time to talk about Shiba Inu today. You know, I wanted to go through an update of where it is because we are seeing the market that's, I guess, at a healthier state than where it was. But, you know, we're starting to see a little bit of a downturn from where it was at its high points recently. But that's not really the conversation that I want to have. I've um, received a couple of comments talking about the the all-time highs and talking about what Shiba Inu's price potential is and people that bring up some really really good points as to if we can see it get up to those points if not further than that so I wanted to take this video or this time in this video to discuss Shiba Inu the all-time highs and all of what I just mentioned so guys make sure you hit the like button hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell for more of these videos also make sure you check out some of the links that i do have down below if you guys are interested in checking out any of my other channels any other referral links any anything that we have down there i appreciate you guys for you know checking it out as well as if you guys want to check out my credit card channel which we're growing i think we're closer to 140 subscribers on this channel uh, which is slow we're, we're making our moves we're, we're taking some time to get up to these points um, but it's only been about uh, a week maybe two weeks that we've been uh, doing this so if you guys are interested go ahead and subscribe and you know be a part of it over there but like i said shiba inu is definitely a position that a lot of people want to see a ton of success in so we're not just looking for all-time highs we're not just looking for it to go to just drop a zero we're looking for way more than that than not just this other zero that we're seeing here but the second zero and maybe even a third zero that's what a lot of people are hoping for they're pushing for we're hoping to see burns to get us to a better state um in where we can get to right um a better level where we can get to because obviously if we burn three zeros or drop three zeros we're going to be at you know hundreds of billions of dollars worth of a market cap rather than you know seeing it at you know tens of billions of dollars worth of a market cap so we're pushing for this to go a lot further so um anyways let's give you an update on shiba inu and exactly where it is currently it's at point zero 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 seven two seven seven it's uh down about 1.36 percent on the day we're seeing the market cap at a 4.29 billion dollar market cap uh, also, the volume is up a significant amount. We see it at 126, or sorry, 128 million uh, dollars worth of volume, up 69 percent. Now we saw some positivity that was that was there today. It went up to about 76, um, five zero 76, and now it's all the way back down to 72 almost 73 so we did see a significant increase as well as a decrease so the volume isn't necessarily all positive we saw the positivity and we see people that may be taking a quick day trade and selling some of their position just in order to take some profits it's understandable why they would decide to do that um now obviously the thing that we want to see that drops down is this circulating supply if we could decrease that circulating supply all these prices that we want to get to are obtainable right are easily obtainable but now we start to focus on the uh, market cap side of it and that's why in my title of my video i talked about the market cap i said a 40 billion dollar market cap can we find a way to get back to some of these levels maybe even a 50 billion dollar market cap you know, I feel as though that's the level we want to see it get to, not just all-time highs. We want to see it go a lot further than that because if it can get to, let's say, a $58, $59 billion market cap, that is that second drop zero level, right? Because we could drop this first zero, which would get us to about a $5.9 billion market cap, and then seeing it at a $59 billion market cap would be two zeros that are dropping off and getting up to 0 0.0001 rather than 0 0.0001 or 0 0.0001. Um, so obviously we wanna see that happen. We wanna see um, everything that's our, in our hopes and dreams just happen in real life. But honestly, it, it just has to, everything has to play out the right way. So let's have a discussion about that, right? Cause we see the, the levels of you know where it is and where it could get to. The question that I got um, in my comment section multiple times was really hovering around the all-time highs and whether it can get back to these all-time highs because we're seeing less hype that's in cryptocurrency and you, we don't know if we're going to see the bull market. And in my opinion, I believe we are going to see this bull market. We're going to see it happen. It The real question is when, right? When is that going to happen? And it all depends on when we see adoption. 
if we see adoption with institutions, if we see adoption that's coming from the government, if we see adoption that's coming from all of the above, then we could start to see that happen. But there's also another issue in there that someone else made 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 me aware of. If we see more uh, positions that come on that create a lot of hype, does that take away from Shiba Inu? And you look at Pepe as an example, and a lot of people that were investing into Pepe uh, token, it was people that were in Shiba Inu or in Dogecoin that had a little bit of success or wanted to see that same hype that was with Shiba Inu or Doge or everything else that came along. Every single person is looking for that next play that's going to be Shiba Inu, that's going to be Dogecoin, that's going to be whatever other play um, that you have, right? Fill in the blank. So if we're looking for that and we actually find that before the bull run, does that mean that it takes away from the hype of Shiba Inu? I don't think it takes away from the holders, but I think it takes away from the volume that we could potentially see in Shiba Inu. Because the more meme-like plays that you have out there, ones without use cases, and I'll say meme plays, even though I don't believe Shiba Inu is a meme anymore, it still doesn't really have a use case to it. So the fact that it doesn't have a use case to it, it's all built off of popularity and supported off of popularity, supported off of the volume that we can see. Um, so I'll still label it within there and also CoinMarketCap still labels it there as well. So I wanna make sure we keep things consistent as uh, CoinMarketCap does label it. They're not the um, end all be all or, the, or know everything, but as they label it, that's what we, we look at for our research. So that's the best way to do it. But can we get up to this all-time high if we are having Pepe and something else and something else that could be coming up right behind Shiba Inu with a little bit more hype and you know being that position that you can get in, in the beginning? Maybe not. I believe we're still going to have the holders. I just think people will start to allocate funds to different places if that ends up happening. Now, it all depends how long it takes to have that bull run happen. Right, if the bull run doesn't happen until the end of 2024, which I believe is going to be the end of 2023, is where it starts. In 2024, we'll see it start to happen for everything. Adoption is literally right around the corner, in my opinion. But if it doesn't happen until the end of 2024 or a longer period of time, 2025, that's where you get a ton of projects, a ton of plays that could be created in the meantime to be that meme-like play and fill the shoes of Shiba Inu or Dogecoin. So it honestly is a conversation we should have, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't think, in my opinion, and again, this is all my opinion, I don't think that we'll see anything really fill Shiba Inu's shoes, but maybe have a come up or have a push sort of like what Shiba Inu had in the beginning because people are looking for that next best play. And it all depends on what type of support that play ends up getting. So um, again, I don't think it will happen. I think um, you know Shiba Inu to $40 billion is inevitable. Shiba Inu to 50, maybe $60 billion is inevitable. It all depends on what price it's going to be depending on what the overall supply looks like. And from what we've seen from the past two plus years, it looks like the supply is going to remain somewhere around the same, especially when we look at the trillions level rather than billions. So guys, let me know what you think about this. Is this a valid question? Is this a valid concern? Guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. I'm going to get out of here. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.